Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. You're going to find many clips that have been brought in by my viewers who have had questions. If their questions about their spirituality helps many, they're most likely going to be posted. If there's something that you see that you don't like, don't worry about it. Just discard it and move on to the next. The purpose of these clips are to educate and enlighten, and they are a labor of love. So I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. So the question is, did you begin doing readings as soon as you began to understand your gift? Heavens no. Oh my gosh, no. I went through all kinds of training. I went to England to Arthur Finley College several times. I was at Lilydale, New York for quite a few years taking classes in the summer. I went to Cleveland, Ohio and trained with um, uh, Sharon Klingler, um, a well-known medium in the States. So um, no, I did not just jump into this. Um, I just felt that, you know, this, this is a huge responsibility and you have to do it right. And I remember <laughs> going to Lilydale and getting so excited about um, working at the stump, which is um, an outdoor uh, a spiritual service that um, invites uh, uh, registered mediums who have uh, been tested as well as um, visiting mediums to give uh, three messages in five minutes. So it was like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> it's like, really, that's quite a test. And it's a good test. But what I figured out was, well, I didn't figure it out. They told me that they said, you're giving psychic messages. And I went, what? What? what, what? And they said, no, no, you have to talk to dead people. You have to give mediumistic messages. Oh, I said, oh, was there a difference? You know, and this, this was part of my training to understand that, you know, um, spiritualism is about uh, continu continuity of life and proof of it. So they are not interested in, you know, you getting out there and buying your shirt for the next concert kind of thing. <laughs> you no, know, it's more about what does Uncle Fred have to say? So that was a huge um, training as well. So um, I would say that it was pretty intense training for about four or five years and then I felt confident enough to take it to the next level, which was being responsible for other people's sessions. And from that, what's uh, grown is I also teach now psychic development and mediumship. And psychic development is first always in my books because you need to know how to work with your guides. And that's what you do with psychic development. With mediumship, you speak to dead people and they're not always kind. So you have to kind of get used to the whole energy of um, working with um, personalities from, you know, different walks of life. And, pers um, and whereas your spirit guides with your psychic messages are love, light and support. So, yeah, uh, no, I did not jump in right away to do readings. <laughs> I would have, I think I would have quit if I had done that first because there's so many pitfalls and there's so many things you have to learn in order to be good at what you do. So um, I always encourage everybody who are psychic and who are medium, which is all of us because we have the gift, to take training first. Please. I was trained by my mentor, Sadie Nickerson, for 20 years. And she and I did readings every time we got together, or if it was over the phone. And a lot of my training was over the phone. I wasn't feeling comfortable enough to go out into the world to uh, share my gift. So I required a lot of training before I would do this. It's a huge responsibility being a psychic medium because people really take everything you say to heart and literally and you have to be so very careful how you um, give your message work. So no, I did not do uh, any readings until I was thoroughly trained. Mm -hmm.